The Princess of Wales looked the epitome of elegance in a camel midi dress and matching coat as she stepped out with the Prince of Wales for a visit to youth organisations in Scarborough today. Catherine appeared typically stylish in the autumnal frock, teamed with a Max & Co. £460 pure wool long run coat, a £295 Demelia London handbag and a £60 woven waist belt from Bowdoin. The royal couple, who both wore a poppy on their lapels ahead of Remembrance Day on the 11th of November, are visiting the resort town to launch funding to support young people's mental health, in a collaboration spearheaded by the Royal Foundation. Catherine and Prince William dressed in a burgundy jumper and blue shirt under a navy jacket, visited the street a community hub that hosts organizations to grow and develop their services, where they met the grant panel of young people from the area who will be distributing the funding to local projects. The duo were greeted by a cheering crowd as they started their day in the North Yorkshire resort to engage with local organizations who will benefit from funding which has been created from a collaboration between the Royal Foundation of the Prince and Princess of Wales and the Two Ridings Community Foundation. William and Catherine began by meeting the grant panel of young people who had decided how the money should be allocated. They will also see firsthand how community organizations are rallying to help those who are struggling with the rising cost of living. The Royal Foundation and Two Ridings Community Foundation have convened local donors to secure funding to support the work of community-led organizations working with young people in the Scarborough area. The young people on the panel have themselves been supported by local community organizations and the meeting is a chance to understand how grant decisions were made and learn more about how this funding will make a difference to young people in Scarborough. Catherine and William will then meet three local charitable organizations who are beneficiaries of the funding and see firsthand some of the work they are doing to make a difference in their community as well as the benefit of localized funding.